Listen. Listen. There's a secret I have to tell you about. Once upon a time, so we were told, there was a fantastical world. A place in which the people could do whatever they want to do. If they wanted to become a great craftsman, they would simply learn and look for teachers. They were paid for their labor. If they wanted to be heroes, they could fight crime or fires, and others would join them of their own free will. These people could make their own decisions. They were not made or formed. Nobody twisted them after an obscure image of a bird or a flame. In this long forgotten world, water would run downhill all the time. You hadn't to bargain with the fire to keep you warm. The woods wouldn't change their locations overnight, and it's rumored there were clocks which measured the time and never stopped unless they were broken. This lost world was one of reason and cold steel. There was no way to die today and be resurrected tomorrow. Stories were simply stories. Names were only words and had no power over the bearers. Others call us dreamers for believing this world can be rediscovered. They stay put and are happy to follow every whim of our fairy lords. Some of these tools and watchdogs even try to stop or report us to our masters. The dreamers, which are caught and subjected to horrible torments, even a clear mind molded by thorns and knife-sharp desires, could never understand. But we didn't stop dreaming of this other world. The world of families, cold facts, reason and people who remember our names. Are these tears of pain or joy on your cheeks? I can only guess, but now we have to hurry. This journey takes everything from us. You can feel it. Our heart beats faster and our breath hurries. Our gold legs and fair wings flurry as we run through the green maze which marks the borders of our Lord's realm. It's not our ears, but our hearts which pick up the howling of the hounds on our heels. It's not the fear for pain, but for losing our last memory of the fantasy land, which drives us forwards. You can feel it too. There won't be another chance. If we fail now, our Lord will strip even the slightest glimpse of our memories away. So we run and run and run and run and run and run and run as we are falling tumbling through the thorns and our hunters are within arm's reach as they fling their spears and sound their horns we see a glimmer in the air finally a door we struggle we are out of strength and breath in front of us away as one panicked thought or one final wish it is waiting for us the fantasy world called home dear listeners 
I'm happy to announce to you our second game of Changeling the Lost, which will enter your waking dreams in only a few days. In this six episodes, we are going to carry you into a story full of thorns, roses and rediscovering. If you are new to Changeling, feel free to listen to our first game, Hearts on Trial, for a comfortable introduction into the world of fairies and broken promises. I am joined on this journey by Jenny, who you know from the Coriolis campaign, and Craig, who you know because you are listening to this very podcast. I, for myself, hid a long time to avoid the gaze of the fair folk, but trusting in your discretion, I shall reveal my name as well. You may call me Tobias, or get into contact via the Twitter handle Tom Moore. So, stay tuned, and be careful, because we are right behind you, to steal you away and drag you into the green maze of beautiful madness. <laughs>